Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to show you an application how to install it and configure it and have it running called PearBlock. This is a Windows version continuation of an application once known as PearGuardian. And what this does is it actually watches your internet connection and blocks you from a lot of known bad things so unfortunately it is a form of blacklisting I would highly recommend going with whitelisting instead but in this particular case this form of blacklisting is going to help guard you from a shit ton of bad guys and I really can't stress that enough so whenever you finally download peer block which I'll give you the uh, link to it afterwards click on run and google chrome you just click on the file of course in firefox it'll have the little arrow up here you click on it and then click on the file open file security warning click run and you'll more than likely get the user account control just click yes this is going to function pretty much the same in windows 7 windows 8 or windows 10 whichever one you're running it in once you get the setup screen just click next i accept agreement and then next click next again next again next again do not select start on system startup make sure create desktop icon is on click next click install so the install is going to go by pretty fast make sure that launch peer block is uh, selected and then click finish and it'll automatically start the program so now you're going to come up to the welcome screen click next on the select lists select all of them do not select always allow HTTP. I know that's going to be something you're going to want to lean towards, but always allow HTTP. If you read right here, always allows connections on port 80 and 443, even if they are in your block list. So you just kind of completely gave them a bypass from having the block list to where if they're on the block list and you reach out to it or they try to reach to you, they're going to freaking get through anyway. So that's kind of dumb. Click next. Now it's going to have customized lists. We're going to go ahead and throw P2P, spyware, advertising, and education on here. Once we're done there, click next. You can add more block lists. You can go find a lot of different black lists that are open source and various other things and free. And it will allow you to grab those black lists, apply them in, and use them with your peer block which is a decent way of blocking yourself from a lot of known bad guys there's a lot of known evil on the internet anything that helps protect you from it is good once you do that it'll go through the process of downloading the list once they're all downloaded just click close and now it's going to generate your list cache poof voila there is now a shit ton of crap being blocked. You'll have your little peer block down here in the lower right hand corner where the TSRs are. And at this particular point, you are good. Oh, look, it already blocked one. You can see right here that it's blocking 987 million. 449,256 IPs. Look, it's blocking even more. There's a whole bunch of them here that's getting blocked from my system right off the freaking bat. So, if that doesn't tell you something, then I don't know what to tell you. Now, some of it's also going to be legitimate traffic. It's not actually blocking that, but you'll be able to see the traffic. Nope, it is blocking it that's fine just because it says Amazon Technologies Incorporated uh, in my work experience I have seen a lot of these 52 dot IP addresses that are part of the Amazon IP space that do active attacks so I don't really feel bad that it's being blocked and just because it's being blocked right there that is a known bad IP does not mean that Amazon.com is being blocked and I can't go to it so this is a very very helpful program this is really good for helping to protect your computer and like i said anything that helps block you from known evil is a good thing 
don't don't think for one second that this is an uh, uh, an alternative to a firewall or anything like that. No, this this will complement a lot of your security setup. So there's a lot of things that it'll block. Go to settings two and click start with Windows. It will start every time your system starts up. Click save. You can click on port settings. You have your default ports. You can add in ports and various things here. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a very basic, simple program that works really well. This information is out there for absolutely everybody. As always, watch, like, and share. Have a great day.